Hey everybody, Mr. Pete here from St. Vincent Family Center. I'm gonna read another story today. This story is called Sheep is Scared. This story deals with another feeling or emotion and that feeling or emotion is scared. So there are some times throughout our day that we may feel scared and I want you to pay close attention to see what scares sheep and to see if maybe some of these things scare you as well. And also come up with a plan to see what you can do and figure out what you can do when you are scared to kind of help calm yourselves down. So this is called Sheep is Scared. Sheep was feeling tired. He had been playing with his friends all day and it was time for bed. One by one, Sheep's friends fell asleep. First Hippo, then Alligator, then Squirrel. But Sheep was wide awake. Sheep looked around. Everything seemed different in the dark. The beds looked different. The room sounded different. And worst of all, Sheep felt different. His heart began beating very hard and he started to shake. Sheep saw something under Hippo's bed. It was big, dark, and monster shaped. Oh no, maybe there's a monster under my bed too, whispered Sheep, and he hugged his blanket tightly. Suddenly there was a loud bang. The noise made Sheep jump and his tummy felt all squiggly. <gasps> it's the monster, yelped Sheep. Hippo heard Sheep and woke up. Then Hippo turned on the light. Sheep felt a little less scared now that the room looked normal again, but he didn't want to let go of his blanket. What's the matter? Sheep asked Hippo. Sheep told them about the monster and his friends looked under Hippo's bed. It wasn't a monster, it was just Hippo's boots. Then Sheep remembered the banging noise. Hippo opened the curtains. It wasn't a monster, it was just a storm. The thunder boomed and Sheep jumped. Hippo hugged Sheep. Don't worry, Sheep. Everyone gets scared sometimes, but we'll take care of you. After that, Sheep felt a lot happier, so the friends went back to bed. This time, Sheep had no problem going to sleep. When Sheep woke up the next morning, he felt happy and safe. The sun was shining, so the animals put on their boots and went outside. The rain had made lots of lovely puddles to jump in. Sheep had lots of fun playing with his friends. All right, friends, thank you for listening along, and I hope you enjoyed our story.